Good morning everyone. What I want to talk about today is deadbolt house locks. Yep indeed. You see how the arm comes up and that's what you have to push against when you pick these here deadbolt locks on the door. Anyway, this one right here, which I've taken off of the actuator and stuff. This is a 5-pin Westershire. I'm not really sure, but it's a big W. Westmore or something like that. And I figured we'll try to pick it. Now, keep in mind, if I was actually picking this lock, that I would have this right here. It would be up. So, we're going to spin this baby around to where we can actually get to it. And we're going to try one a pick that I made yesterday. See how well it works. Oh boy, we have all all kinds of pins in there. We got five. We got five pins in there. Wow. This is a very tight lock. It's not as big as a, of a keyhole as I thought it was. I'm probably going to end up not being able to pick this lock here, but, you know, we'll see. Yeah, this thing is wicked nasty here. I'm telling you. Five pins and it's, and it's not giving up easy. No, it ain't. This thing is not giving up easy. Hmm. Wow, I had four of them. Well, let's see here. Let's start back from the back again and see what we got in the back. Wow. Yeah, there it is. It opened up. It sure did. See it turning? It sure did open up for us. Okay, that was a five pin. That was a five pinner. Let's dig our wrench out of the hole. Now this one right here is all brass. This Everything here is all brass. This is one of them uh, two hundred and nine dollar deadbolt assemblies from one of those uh, home improvement stores. As you can see, it has six pins. This is one bad baby here. One, two, three, four, five, six pins. I guess it ain't got oil on it or something. I don't know. Yeah. This is 
Well, we'll give it a shot. I've never picked a six pinner in my whole life, so we're going to see what we got. Wow. Wow. Wow, man, this thing is telling on itself really bad. This is not a, a good lock. There it is. And that's the six pins. My God. See it turning? Wow. I thought six pins would really give us a... give us some a hard time, but... My God. Anyway, this is the higher end one. This is the middle grade one, five pinner. Supposed to be, you know, home security. And this is the one, the uh, cheapo. I think this one right here was like $18 or whatever. But this one right here also has one, two, three, four, five pins. But keep in mind though, if you pick one of these right here, you, you got to keep that tension tool in there because once you pick the actual lock, you have to move the, all that actuating stuff forward. And I, I picked this one last night. And these right here, wiper blade insert tension tools do not work. So I went out to the barn and I invented myself, this is a hardened, a T2 tool steel tension tool. And this baby will move all those actuating pieces in there. But when you pick it, you got to keep pressure on it. And when it, just when it starts to pop open, like just a little movement, you have to keep pressure on it. And then you have to actually push it. I mean, it ain't like just opening it up, you know, without all the the parts and pieces on there. I can tell you that for sure. Anyway, I can't believe that this six pin lock opened up that fast, man. My God. You know, I mean, it's all brass. It's all high end stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, please leave some comments down there. Let me know what you think, how I could improve or whatever. Talk to y'all later on.